And at lap 123, here they come, Postman. 55 miles per hour, a quartet of Fords coming down pit road. The first one to hit his marks, Michael McDowell, the K-Love Ford, been flawless so far tonight. Let's see how the pit crew performs. Going to be right side tires on that automobile. Right side tires down and away and slow. They've got a problem with McDowell's car. Ricky Stenhouse Jr., two tires down and away. Winston Kelly. Right side tires for Kevin Harvick. has got it cranked up. It's just going to be a two-tire. Stop Rodney Childress. Go on me. Gives him the, the uh, high sign to go. Ricky Stenhouse Jr., Kevin Harvick. Jeffrey Earnhardt go in that order, Alex. Other Fords to come in in the midsection, Trevor Bain and Clint Boyer. However, we'll wait and see what NASCAR says, but it looked like the right rear tire got away from Clint Boyer's crew. We'll see if they give him a penalty or not, but right side tires in Sunoco Fuel. They all should be good to go to the finish here. Should not expect them back on the pit lane unless it's some sort of a problem. Ready to change your drive forever? Can-Am is here to take you farther than ever before in speed, performance, and style. Maverick X3, Maverick Trail, and Defender Lone Star Edition are rewriting the rules of off-road vehicles. Come to the display at the track or call your local dealer to experience Can-Am firsthand. Can-Am, we're built for this. Trouble, turn three. It is Ricky Stenhouse Jr. and Kyle Larson. They go for a spin all the way through turns three and four. Larson's car has come to a rest along the grassy apron to the inside of the exit of turn four. Stenhouse has continued on his way. All right, we'll recap uh, that for you when we come back. We go under the caution flag for the sixth time. It flies on lap 123. Jimmy Johnson, race leader, involved in the crash, Stenhouse and Larson. From Daytona International Speedway, this is the Motor Racing Network, the voice of NASCAR. <laughs> 